So we're gonna go try the Thanksgiving pizza from DiGiorno. Okay, we're gonna read them directions. Crank up the oven. Place that little mother jammer in the oven. 23 minutes. Damn, I can't wait. Come on, Thanksgiving pizza. I hope you come out looking like that. Mm, but most of all, I hope you taste as good. A little check Come on. Come on. Oh, it's almost done. Let's pull it out. Oh, we got to get a pizza cutter. Can I cut it with one hand? Let's see. Okay. Ooh. Hard to hold the phone and cut. I think it, I think it does smell like Thanksgiving. Almost. Damn, I forgot to turn the oven off. Let's get them paper plates. I can fan it with the box. This might be the first time I've had green beans on a pizza. And is it maybe the first time I've had cranberries on a pizza? Look at them chunks. I have to move some pieces around. Wife get that piece, I get this piece. You could really taste the gravy. Mmm, mmm, if you like cranberries, yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're gonna try the green beans. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, I have to go for another piece. It tastes pretty good. I mean, it tastes like there's some holiday toppings on it, but it's not overwhelming. Ooh. Mm. You want some more? I'll take another slice. She wants another slice. What was that? So all in all, I could say it's pretty good. It's not like an overwhelming amount of toppings of Thanksgiving toppings to make it seem like a total Thanksgiving pizza. It has some Thanksgiving toppings on a pizza, which is fine as a pizza. But I would say, yeah, if you do not like gravy, then I probably wouldn't get it. But there is, you know, it's pretty good. Well, I was gonna say, I'm not a big fan of cranberries by itself, but on the pizza, it's pretty good. DiGiorno, you have a hit. And there you have it. Approval from the wife. Thanksgiving pizza.